The program has started, and we wait for the laser to initialize. Once connected, the laser gives us range readings which can be used to depict the environment in two dimensions. Using the range readings, we process the data using an algorithm that finds the angles of interest in the environment that require further investigation. Using the angles of interest, we use the camera on the robot to verify the suspicious object using blobbing techniques. Assuring that the camera and the laser are looking at the same object requires calibration testing and an algorithm that verifies the angles on the camera and laser essentially match. We place the coordinates of the verified suspicious objects in a disposal list. Using the laser range data, we know the angle and distance to all objects in the disposal list. The robot possesses an internal map and uses a gyro to localize within the environment. Experimental results show that the accuracy of the gyro and map used in combination are good. Once the robot is within close proximity of the suspicious object, it again scans the environment with the laser, having the laser range vastly reduced to eliminate irrelevant data. The camera is employed again to verify the object, and once verified, the robot uses the angle and range to approach the object. The gripper is deployed to prepare for object retrieval. Infrared sensors in the gripper paddles detect when an object has passed in front of them. Pressure sensors in the paddles detect when an object has been grasped sufficiently. Using these sensors, along with the internal map and gyro, we can grasp the objects and take them to the disposal location. The retrieval process continues for all items left in the disposal list. Basic obstacle detection is employed on the robot to avoid collisions. Sensor readings are modified to ignore the object being retrieved. As objects could be different sizes, these sensor adjustments are calculated and performed dynamically for each object. The camera is used to provide video feedback to the user during the retrieval and disposal processes. Using the robot outdoors presents unique challenges. Lighting conditions change frequently, which affects the blobbing software, and infrared light from the sun can cause problems with infrared sensors, such as those found in the gripper paddles. <laughs> 